Okay, seventh grade cellist. We're gonna start at 47 in Right at Stonehenge, part one. This is our third lesson. And in this area, we have been building from the beginning to this area. And you're gonna notice that 47 kind of erupts in this musical like speed. And at 51, holy smokes, we're supposed to play con forza, con forza and fortissimo. So it means super loud with force. Um, let's take though, before we get there, 47 to 51. Sonori means keep it the same, keep that forte going. Now cellos, you have the option at measure 49 to shift up to the note E, but you do not have to. I guess it's measure, yeah, 49. It's up to you. You can either go B, E, D, F sharp, E, or you can go B, E, D, F sharp, E. It's up to you. Let's start at 47. It's forte and go till 51. One, two, and three, four. <laughs> Do that again. Did you take the high or the low? If you think you can do the high, do it with me. Otherwise, you know where to find that low note. Here we go. 47 ready. Here we go. some vibrato. It's not as nice as some of yours. So that part is a little tricky. Be careful. Now we're at the forza. Con forza. And this goes, takes us all the way through measure 63. And then we have to go back to measure 47 and repeat what we just played. Let's just practice today. Well, right now, 51 to 63, through 63, I should say. So start at 51, add weight, and pop in that bow. One, two, and hooked bows go. Down, up, up, down, up, up, natural. if you like. Back to 47. Stop there though. So it's forced. I'm sorry I had a little bit of a weird sound there. That's okay though. You just play through it. I would like us to now, you'll notice that we played this almost like, I think it's almost eight times that you play something very similar. Every two bars is about the same. So as long as you get one of those bars, you'll get them all. The only thing I will say is this, don't get stuck on this. Right there. Some students keep doing it, but that's not right. I was just at measure 40, 54, and I have to do only one B with a bow lift. There's a difference. You have to make sure you make that difference. So let's start at 51 again and careful. One, two, and ready, play. Here's B, A. Only the B. Lift 55. Bottom line. 
can't tell you how many times I have taught this and students just kind of automate into something that they think they are hearing and they're not reading the correct notes. Be careful. Last two measures. So it's fortissimo, we have slurs, and right here we have this awesome accent. This is like a, a very sharp accent. Let's see if I can get it. It's really sharp. Everybody try it with me. Let's do four in a row. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I have anger issues. Anyway, last two measures are going to sound like this. Ugh. Do that with me. Last two measures. One, two, and ready, play. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Now is the time we're going to put this all together. If you need to stop, stop this video and practice these sections. Um, you can also rewind and repeat practicing them with me. If you're ready, we're gonna start at 47 and go to the end. We're going to do the repeat. I repeat, I repeat, we will do the repeat. Understand, should I repeat it so you know where the repeat is? We're gonna start at 47, we'll get through measure 63 and sure enough there's the repeat sign we go back to 47 and then finish it out here we go measure 47 one two and ready go <laughs> your arms relax and that'll give you the power you need all right hope you're enjoying right at stonehenge cello see ya